What's good people, it's Ocean here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the video if you're new. So for a long time, you guys have been asking me to do a tutorial on how do I mix my beats? How do I master my beats? I don't consider myself to be a sound engineer or have like the perfect mixes on my beats. And for the longest time, I didn't even really mix my beats. All I would do is literally adjust a few volumes, add in an EQ here, add in an EQ there. But I can tell you what a limiter is. I can tell you what a compressor is. I never added them to my beats. As I said, I would just do a few basic tweaks to it and use my ear to try and listen and see what sounds good and I did do a video on that my process on how I adjust the volumes and EQ and everything and I'm gonna leave the eye up here so you guys can check out that video the basics of mixing but yeah when it comes to mixing man I'm super lazy I have this plugin called Neutron 3 I've been playing around with it for a while now and literally this plugin is a lifesaver honestly I thought my mix was good before with my small volume tweaks and that compared to this is dead if my mixes was here before my mixes is like up here now. They're sounding sick. Before we get into it, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now. Join the family and hit that bell notification set. Every single time I post a video, you get a notification, you won't miss another one. And with that being said, let me show you the fastest way to mix your beats. Let's go. Ocean gang go drown. So I got stems for a beat that I've made and I'm just gonna drag it into Logic Pro X. So I'm gonna open up Neutron 3 so you can see the difference. The first thing that we've got to do is go to the mixer channel, select all of them and open up Isotope and choose Relay. So basically when we use Neutron 3, the changes that it makes is gonna to apply to all the channels in the mixer. And then in the master channel, the stereo up, I'm gonna go ahead and choose Neutron 3. So when I play my beat, in this plugin you can see all the levels. So I think my low end is quite high, like it goes up. Whereas my high end is quite low. So what I'm going to do, instead of me adjusting the gain right here, I'm actually going to select Mix Assistant and it gives me two options. I can use Track Enhance where it's going to enhance the track around the whole thing or Balance where it will focus on one aspect of the mix and balance it around that. But I'm going to use Track Enhance. When I use Balance, the mix doesn't come out great, but when I use Track Enhance, it usually comes out very good. So I'm going to hit Track Enhance and choose Next. I'm going to leave the options as it is, and then let me play the audio. So now we're listening and analysing the mix. After the analysis, it fixes up the mix. It adds in a Sculptor, an Equalizer, two Compressors and an Exciter. So let's hear the difference. This is the mix assistant on. So it sounds a lot brighter. And before it was like this, it's a bit, a bit lower. So what I'm going to do is turn down that side to a bit because I don't really like that on too high. And I think it sounds better than it does before. It's a lot brighter. Personally, I think the mix sounds a lot better, but I still want to make a few more minor adjustment tweaks. So I'm going to go to Isotope again and I'm going to open up Neutron Visual Mixer. All of my sounds are in this mixer and I can just look and adjust it. So there's a few things that I might want to turn down. I think I might put the kick up just a little bit and turn down the hi-hat. And a few of the claps. I think it sounds so much better than what I did before. Let's just hear the difference again. This is with the mix assistant and without it. My one sounds a lot more, I don't know, like closed off and this one is a lot brighter. And we literally did that in what, like two minutes, maybe even less, maybe a bit more, but it's so quick. So now I'm going to open up a trap beat and use the mix assistant and try and get a better mix with that beat as well. So this is a beat that I was working on before. I'm just going to turn down a few things. Alright, I think that mix sounds okay. But again, let's go and open up Neutron 3 and see the difference. I'm going to hit Mix Assistant and just let it do its thing. Analyze the audio. Already, you can just hear that it's getting a bit louder, a bit more brighter. I 
Now, I don't think the mix is perfect. Personally, I like to take down the exciter. But I think it sounds a lot better than it does before. This is it before. Again, it seems like my beats are very like, quite bass heavy. But now it's pulled up the high end a bit more. I'm also gonna open up the Neutron Visual Mixer. And I'm gonna adjust it to how I like it. Alright, so this is what we was working with before. I mean, personally, I don't think the mix before sounds terrible. It sounds good to me. But then now, I think it sounds better. It's just got a lot more in the high end. It's a lot more balanced. But yeah, that's me mixing my beats using Neutron 3 by Isotope. Personally, I think when I use this plugin, it makes my beats sound a lot better. So I definitely recommend this plugin if you think that your mixes are not great and you're just struggling to find that good balance. Obviously, this cannot replace a sound engineer. I mean, that's someone dedicating to make the music sound as best as it can. I mean, for a plugin, it does a really good job. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below if you wanna check it out. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button and leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this plugin, if you use it or if you're thinking about using it. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate all your support. That's about it for this one. I'll see you in the future.